Alright guys, welcome back. So tonight we will unbox the DSP32 Rover Dev Kit. Let me show you. If you want to buy, you can go to other fruit shop website and you should pay $49 or $50. I don't know about shipping costs because um, I'm in Indonesia. I choose to visit AliExpress and order this dev kit from there. It's $54 includes shipping costs to, I'm um, sorry, from China to my country. Um, now let's take a look. I want to open this box without damaging the seal, but it seems like the only way to open this box is to break the sticker. Because I have an assumption there is no sticker left inside the box. Mm, I will try to open th this with smoothly and softly. Oh my god. Oh no. No. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> Shit. And voila. <laughs> um, okay, pink bubble wrap, but nothing special here. Um, there is no sticker, right? Alright, let's open this. Um, okay, no sticker. Let's open this. Um wow wow big board looks like it can be used in industrial purpose but I'll try it later. Hum no stick right come on expressive system I'm your big fan Seriously this is the biggest board that I ever have and um let's see the feature of this board um it has a lot of GPIO pins, um, male and female GPIO header. I try to count this. Okay, the uh, jumper too. You can choose the voltage level on your board, and uh, this is the ESP32 um, chip. It also have built-in micro SD card slot. So you can use it in many purpose. And a nice sound. Let's do some compression with my another board. It is two times wider than my Raspberry Pi 2. It also bigger than um, Banana Pi M4 series. And of course, it is a uh, bigger than my other ESP32 board. This is the built-in RGB LED, um, not NeoPixel. Um, I don't know why. And uh, oh, this is a secondary power source. You can use it with a pair jack, only for five volts DC, and a cool screen. But I guess. It is a touch screen. All right, let's try to turn on this board. Switch. Nice switch. All right, the power indicator is um, red light here. And uh, RGB LED is uh, blinking. The screen is also turned on. And now I want to try to program this big guy. I will try to use Arduino IDE first, but there are no ESP rover in board selection. It also has uh, two ports. I guess I will not use Arduino IDE for uh, programming this board. Uh, this two port is for GTAG and. Um, just usual a uh, serial communication and uh, now I will try to use a uh, micro Python uh, okay it is working charm can you see that I print some word to my LED I'm sorry LCD screen and now I will try to use ESP IDF I want to flash a simple hello world program 
or script or code it takes at least two until three minutes just to flash one or a single script uh, hello world script looks like it use um, ESP tool just like when we flash MicroPython firmware to the ESP board the differences is we only flash the firmware once once if we use MicroPython but if we use the ESP IDF we should flash the firmware every time we want to flash new script or code and this is the monitor if um, you use Arduino ID this is the serial monitors but in a different user interface now let's play something with built-in hardware blink I want to try to um, flash the blink script or code to my board um, this is the menu config we should to set the serial port to flash or upload our script or firmware to the board and uh, it's flashing now Oops, I got some error here. I don't know why. Um, this is the first time I got the error when flashing Premiere or script. And uh, let's try to reflash. Wish me luck. And come on, come on, come on. Okay, good. It is working good. I'm not expecting LCD screen will blinking. And the conclusion is, you may program this board using ESP IDF or MicroPython because I'm not trying it on Arduino IDE. But if you want to try it, of course you can do it and tell me if you got success and if it's much easier than using ESP IDF. Uh, this board has a rich feature. If you're a beginner like me, I may not suggest you to buy this board because it will make you feel dizzy but if you want to explore all the ESP features like VLA, temperature sensor, built-in capacitive touch, uh, buying this board is worth it. It's a little bit hard to operate because it has a double programming feature like GTAC and uh, use uh, serial. Uh, it's hard to program if you are a beginner who feel comfortable using Arduino language, you may not consider to buy this board because it uses pure C programming language. That's it, see you soon, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel.